Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick review for Mod Vanilla. This is Ariana Grande's newest um, addition to her lineup. She also has one that's called Blossom. Now I chose not to get Blossom and I chose to get the Vanilla because I read some of the reviews and I said, okay, I think Vanilla is going to be my jam. So as you can see, the box has, you know, her photo going all the way around. And let's go ahead and look at the actual fragrance. Now, as you can see, the bottle itself is very unique. It's different. Um, it has like a, this plastic portion here in the top. It's glass here at the bottom. You have a translucent area here where you see your juice. That's where your perfume is at. And um, I was really excited to get this. And right here it says Ariana Grande right here in the front. And um, like I said, there's two different variations, vanilla and blush. I chose to get only vanilla. Now I'm going to pop her open just like so. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. <laughs> I can smell it in the lid. Now I've been wearing this, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. I've been wearing this, you guys, for a few days now. Make sure it's close for a few days now. And what I can tell you is this is a sweet gourmand scent. Now, I did read some reviews. Um, a lot of people were saying this has the DNA of uh, God is Woman, which is another one of her fragrances, along with Cloud. I have both those other fragrances. And you guys, I'm not getting that. I'm honestly just not getting that. Um, what I'm getting is this beautiful, sweet, gourmand, vanilla scent um, that is very playful, very playful. Reminds me of of sugar reminds me of marshmallows it reminds me a little has a slight a very slight fruitiness which does not last very long so a little bit of a sugary lollipop um, it does have a powder note in here you do have a drop or two of coconut which dissipates very quickly it just kind of melds together and weaves itself within the scent itself and believe it or not it does have some plum um, and freesia in here which is something that you kind of smell in the middle notes um, in the beginning notes you get more of that little musk that gourmand sweetness of the vanilla and then it does have praline which lends itself to that sugary nuttiness um, it's just such a beautiful, sweet, gourmand scent. Now, as far as longevity or the salage, as people like to say, um, the projection, uh, I feel that this is not a perfume that projects very well. Those, um, when you walk into a room, are they going to smell it? No, they're not. You're going to smell it. You're going to enjoy it. But are other people going to smell it? Only if they come very close to you. It just does last on my clothing because I just put on my pajamas, um, the same pajamas on the next day. I could still smell it. It lasts nice and long on your clothing. It leaves a nice, sweet gourmand scent, just very refreshing and sweet. Um, so this is a very playful, I call it a playful because it's a gourmand scent, a very playful um, perfume that I feel that you could easily use this as a um, mixer. If you're a mixologist, you like to play around with your scents, that you can mix your scents with this one. If you need something that has a little kick, a little vanilla, a little sweetness to brighten up another scent that you have, this might be the one to do it with because it's, it's not overwhelming and it's not beast mode, but it's definitely there. Um, so would I buy this again once I use it up? I think I would if it was on sale, um, just because the projection is not very good and I like strong beast mode scents. Um, this one is not it, but it's still very good. So there you go. There's my review. I definitely like it and um, definitely worth the grab. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.